Okay, next up is Zach Fisher. And I'm coming to you from the 1907 Fenerbahce Club in Istanbul. Very excited and privileged to be here. Now, Zach Fisher had a really, really good 2018 campaign, which was cut short, unfortunately, to injury. And, you know, I felt that he had really taken a big step forward. And I remember this time last year talking about how I was hoping that he would get his possessions to that 18, 19, 20 per game mark. And I thought that would have been a really good year for him. And he was able to do that. He averaged 19 possessions a game, played 17 games, and he really had moments there where he took big steps forward. And I remember games against West Coast in particular, I just thought the way that he thought his way through traffic was, was exceptional. And, you know, it's interesting because this time last year, we're talking about him and, and Samo sort of coming up together. And I actually thought Zach Fisher took a step ahead of Z uh, Samo in terms of his development. And he really elevated himself to the point where we're now talking about a guy who could potentially genuinely break out onto the AFL scene. And, you know, whether that means 22, 23, 24 possessions a game, I don't know, but this kid can play. He can seriously play. And I'm very excited to get another layer of, again, running power, another layer of fitness into him. Um, I thought at times he tried to be a little bit too creative. And there's always a fine balance between wanting players to express themselves and play to their strengths and maybe going a little bit too far. And I thought at times he, he experimented with that. Take nothing away from his year. He was, he was exceptional. And, and I was really disappointed to see him break down and, and have to miss the rest of the season after you know 17 really good games. So 2019 presents itself with a really, really big opportunity for him to really break out. Honestly, it's, it's, he's a player that I have total confidence in the way that he goes about his training, the way that he speaks and his character is, is of high quality. And I remember when he was drafted, Soss talked about how he was a steal. You know, he was injured in his, his under 18 year and that probably impacted why he was drafted so low. And you know, I'll take it every day of the week. Uh, this kid is, is, is quality and uh, he's becoming a man now. And I think he's one of, the, one of the pieces that needs to carry the load a little bit and really elevate us forward. I think he's gonna be one of our stars. I really do, I'm pretty confident in that. So what I wanna see from Zach Fisher in 2019 is an elevated possession tally, 22, 23 a game. He's a guy that can get 30, and he's a guy that can go as low as maybe 15, 16, but I, I expect him to be a bit more consistent this year. I expect him to, to kick a few more goals this year. He's got that sense about him, and he's just a good footballer. And so, yeah, what about you? What do you expect from Zach Fisher in 2019? Is this the year that he breaks out, so to speak, or does he need maybe one more year of development? Let me know in the comments below.